police say based on evidence found at the scene, the group planned riots at the park and in other places in the city. All the men were charged with conspiracy to riot and are scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. Ryan Berman, KFI News. More than 20,000 people attended L.A. Pride in the park. The event happened yesterday at L.A. State Historic Park. Christina Aguilera, the headline musical act. And later this morning, after a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the L.A. Pride Parade returns on a new route in Hollywood. The parade is scheduled to begin at 10.30 this morning at Hollywood and Coenza Boulevard. Following the Pride, Pride Village will open on Hollywood Boulevard. It has been six years since the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. There will be a vigil at the site of the Pulse nightclub today. Orlando resident Gary Wilford says the memorial is being built at the site. You wish you can bring them back, but you'll never bring them back. One person made one decision that changed entire lives. It's sad. It's sad. 49 people were killed, 53 others hurt in the shooting. And the Washington Commanders are finding their defensive coordinator for an indefensible remark. Jack Del Rio faces a $100,000 penalty for calling last year's deadly capital insurrection a dust-up. He also compared the violent attempt to overturn the 2020 election to the 2020 social justice protests following the death of George Floyd. Commander's head coach Ron Rivera issued a statement saying Del Rio's views don't reflect the organization and called the capital attack an act of domestic terrorism. The fine Del Rio pays will be donated to the United States Capitol Police Memorial Fund. Mark Rahner, KFI News. Now headed out to... Uh the 60 where there's a crash in industry. It's going to be on Lane Eastbound side of the 60 at Crossroads Parkway. This one's blocking the two right lane. Do either one look out on the 405 northbound up to 105. We have a wreck here blocking the right lane. And we still have the cones up in Ontario, 10 eastbound from 4th Street to Vineyard. Three right lanes coned out there until 5 a.m. Traffic is backing up to Mountain Avenue. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. Hey, do you want to understand crypto, blockchain, Bitcoin, and other digital assets? I'm Rick Edelman. Join me for my new master class on crypto. It's free. I'm producing four master classes this year. My first one is the truth about crypto. Almost two hours. You'll finally get to understand what everybody's been talking about. Why there's so much excitement about blockchain, Bitcoin, and digital assets. My master class premieres June 21st. You can watch online anytime. And I invite you to sign up for my Masterclass VIP membership. You'll get exclusive access to live Zoom sessions where you'll have the opportunity to personally ask me your questions about crypto and all things personal finance. You'll also receive an annual subscription to my monthly newsletter and other exclusive benefits. Sign up now for my first Masterclass, The Truth About Crypto, and become a VIP member too. Learn more at The Truth. AYF.com. That's the truth. AYF.com. Californians have worked really hard to beat COVID-19 by doing the things we know work best, like getting vaccinated and boosted, testing before and after travel, staying home when feeling sick, and wearing a mask when it can protect us and others. Let's continue to do our part to keep each other safer from COVID-19. When we work together, there's nothing we can't overcome. Learn more at covid19.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. The podcast, Deliver Us from Ervil, reveals the dark story of Ervil the Baron and the reporters, cops, and insiders who tried to take down his vicious, organized crime family. When I arrived in that town, I expected to find it under siege, people living in fear. But instead, I found something more interesting than that crime I had originally been sent to cover. Listen to Deliver Us from Herbal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Brought to you by DuckDuckGo. Search, browse, and email privately all for free with the DuckDuckGo app. The word is out. People are abandoning their overpriced wireless carriers and flocking to PureTalk for the same 5G coverage, but at a fraction of the price. In fact, the average family saves over $800 a year when switching from Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. And switching is so easy. You can keep your phone, keep your number, or get huge discounts on the latest iPhones and Androids. Right now, you can get unlimited talk, text, and six gigs of data for just $30 a month. Or if you still want unlimited data, you can get that and still save a fortune. So make the switch and get the same coverage as the big guys, but at half the price. Get unlimited talk, text, and six gigs of data for just $30 a month. 
from your cell phone, dial pound 250 and say, switch now, and you'll save 50% off your first month. That's pound 250 and say, switch now. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from Pure Talk. Southland weather from KFI, sunny and warm in Metro LA and Inland OC, highs in the low 80s. Sunny and hot in the valleys and Inland Empire highs in the valleys in the mid to upper 80s. Highs in the IE in the mid-90s. Beaches sunny and breezy highs in the low 70s. Right now it is 64 degrees in Irvine, 63 in San Clemente, 62 in West Hills, and 64 in Burbank. We lead local live from the KFI. 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jane Yamamoto. <laughs> Are with her? 
Uh, we, three of the kids are from another marriage. They're with their mom. Uh, mm -hmm. Four, three have left the house to go to college, and there's there's three at home now. Mm -hmm. Not a great situation when you start bringing another man around, if that is the case. And uh, the, the personalization of faith is important. It's what makes it deep and makes it different uh, for any different uh, belief systems out there. And so it's not something to be tampered with. Uh, it's somebody's individual will to make the decisions that they experience in their life. And you kind of have to allow that as much as it stinks or um, it's frustrating to deal with. Um, if this is a path that she's chosen, then you have to allow her down that path. I'm not uh, thrilled about, one, her path, and two, um, the fact that children are involved. And if there is a way for you to protect those children, then you are bound uh, to that, to find that way and to uh, make that happen. Um, but as far as what you can do, you're, you're limited. You're only living for yourself, not for her. And uh, as far as your own health and your own growth, you need to continue, continue down the path as much as you might want to reject it and be frustrated with God. Now is not the time, and you need to continue down the path. No, I'm not me. frustrated with God. I'm just frustrated with her. No, rightly so. Rightly so. But there are times when that loneliness kicks in, and it's like, well, what did I do wrong? I was reading, I was going to church, and I was doing things right, and now I'm dealing with this. Well, that's, that's free will for you, to have somebody who can make their own decisions. And for whatever reason, she decided against you and decided against me. So uh, you're not in bad company as far as, as far as those that are being rejected in this in this case. Yeah. It's just a matter of you not falling into it along with her, right. um, and being uh, being available as a witness as you know somebody who's strong and continues to walk down that path might inspire her. It might not, but be very careful about how you 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 know react to this situation and and your role in it. Because often uh, men in your situation will want to be a savior to the woman and try and help them, and sometimes it just drives you into it. And the best thing you can do is to continue down the path that you're going on, show that strength, and woo her to come back passively. Do you think I should just just hold for a while and just and see what you're going to do with her? Well, like, what's your other option? What are you planning on? Starting on? I mean, she's going to keep her divorce. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Of course, the last thing I want is divorce. I always want reconciliation, even beyond what most humans can withstand. I still want reconciliation. However, if she, you can't be married to the things that she's doing. So if she has a man in her life, or if she's going to go down a path that's going to be destructive, you can't be a part of that. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna—it's not gonna help you in any way, shape, or form. And if you want to seal the deal and take uh, one more opportunity, sit down with her and say, "Here's, here's where I'm at. I've been praying. I've been reading. I've been thinking about this. I don't know what happened. And I don't know why you're going down this path." Um, what if I was to initiate the divorce? Well, that—that that all depends. If you think that she's that she's really being unfaithful, then you do what you have to do. As yeah. much as I hate divorce, I know. But if uh, you know, you you need to sit down with her one more time and say, "This is the path we're going down." You've you've essentially left me, and you've left the church. If she just left the church, and yet she was still being faithful. And you guys are working through this, that's a different story. Right, that's not, not the case. Yeah, but if she effectively left you, or not giving, you know, a rodent behind that you did leave, and she's abusing herself, you don't have to sit and watch that. Yeah, that's, I'm glad to hear that. Well, there's, it's not, you know, God's not a masochist. Yeah. It's, it's not about putting you in pain, it's about not allowing you an, an excuse to take the easy way out. Right. I just don't want you to, to go, oh, well, this is going to be, you know, an easy way, so I'll, I'll take this. Right. It's, you know, that's not going to help you. It's not going to help no, you. No, I love her. I wanted to, I wanted to turn. 
and I'm praying about it. I have many people praying about it, but it just seems like <laughs> it just seems like nothing's happening. But there's got to be something there. There was something, Jack, that motivated this turn. There was something that she lost faith in both you and me. Yeah. And you, you know, you may learn what that is. You may not. And the best way to learn what that is is to sit her down and ask her. But if you're, you know, if you've been looking for a way out and you've kind of sat back and allowed this to happen, you play a part in it. I mean, you're going to play a part in it one way or the other. Because right. somewhere down the line, you are a part of this. Right. And whether she tells you or not. But if you want it out and you just sat there and let it kind of dissolve to where you felt comfortable leaving, that's not, it's not good either. That's not, that's not the deal. And I don't want you to have a relationship right now, and I don't want that to be even something that's on your mind. Right. Loneliness is going to be uh, your middle name for a while. Yeah. As you spend time with me and with God's people, I don't want you looking, I don't want you hoping, I don't want any of that stuff. Just focus on God. And, right. and now is not the time for you to get back into a relationship or anything like that. Um, certainly because you haven't even... Uh, found the proper closure in this one. I hate divorce. The simple, simple verse in Scripture. God hates divorce. But I understand there is a necessity for it at times. But take it seriously. Because it can change your life. And see if somebody's reaching out or calling out for help, or whether you think that it's just somebody that's going to pull you down. And for the sake of heaven, please, please check and see if these children are okay. Because this situation that she's in now almost never ends good and ends up bringing all kinds of uh, unwanted into the home, which also is not good. You are listening to the Jesus Christ Show. My dad was a man's man, but one thing I remember is how often he told my mother he loved her. I'm not always good at sharing emotions, and I sure wish my dad was still with us so I could tell him how much he means to me. My dad died when I was 17, and at that stubborn age, the words I love you just weren't in me. This Father's Day, tell your father how much you love and appreciate him. These are some of the lessons we teach our Rooter Heroes. I'm so confident in our team, I put my personal number on every business card. If you're having any plumbing problems, give our heroes a chance to make you smile. We will cable your drain for $77, period. So call us at 866-DRAIN-77. That's 866-DRAIN-77. Our Rooter Hero customer service agents will make your day a little bit better. Happy Father's Day, and thank you. This report is sponsored by Wendy's Breakfast Baconator. Don't let breakfast be boring, but it could be better. Wendy's Breakfast Baconator will have you feeling sunny side up all day long. Wake up to fresh cracked eggs, savory sausage, and oven baked bacon, of course. Order it and start looking forward to tomorrow morning at participating U.S. Wendy's during breakfast hours only. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if the prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Subscription required. Refund available for 60 days after purchase. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 90% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to 4 slash joy. At HIMS, you'll get a free medical consultation and discreet shipping at prescribed. Love your results or your money back. To start your free online visit, go to 4 slash joy. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Hello, this is Joe Cordell. Cordell & Cordell is a firm that practices family law exclusively. We focus on only one area of the law to maximize our strength and effectiveness as advocates for clients that have everything on the line. Their homes, retirement, savings, and most importantly, their children. We're the partner our clients count on. 
If we can be of help to you, give us a call. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's California area attorneys. 1455 Crazy Road, Suite 500, San Diego, California, 92108. The podcast, Deliver Us from Herbal, reveals the dark story of Herbal LeBaron and the unlikely ensemble of reporters, cops, and family insiders who tried to take down his crime family and stop the violence he unleashed upon a small Mormon community. When I arrived in that town, I expected to find it under siege, people living in fear. But instead, I found something more interesting than that crime I had originally been sent to cover. Listen to Deliver Us from Herbal on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. If you're with Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, you're paying too much for your wireless service. Because Pure Talk gives you the exact same 5G coverage as one of those big carriers on the exact same network, but saves the average family over $800 a year. And Pure Talk doesn't lock you into an overpriced, unlimited data contract. Why pay for data you don't need? Instead, get unlimited talk, text, and 6 gigs of data for just $30 a month. And switching is so easy. You can keep your phone and keep your number, or get huge discounts on the latest iPhones and Androids. So what are you waiting for? Start saving today. From your cell phone, dial pound 250 and say, switch now, and you'll save an additional 50% off your first month. That's pound 250, say, switch now. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dialed text message from Pure Talk. Pure Talk is simply smarter wireless. It's the tire sale of all tire sales. Buy two, get two free now at your local Big O Tires. That's two free tires when you buy two. Ballot on select tires with purchase of an alignment and tire protection package. Buy two tires, get two free now through June 19th. For your nearest store, go to BigOtires.com. Checking K Five traffic. We do have a crash in the Highland Park area, 110 North on of Dia Marisol. Walking the two left lanes. To the City of Industry, 60 East on the Crossroads Parkway, a wreck there blocking the two red lanes. And we have some road work going on in the Corona area, 15 southbound between the 91 and Magnolia. This one has all lanes closed until 4 a.m. Monday. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. <laughs> Why was that beer so important to you? Oh. 
I... I don't know. You realize that you have to have that beer. If you pace to have that beer, you're probably not far from where she is for the problem. Yes. Alcoholism isn't the fact that you get plastered every single day. It's that you're in bondage to alcohol. And I don't care if that's one day a week. I don't care if that's one day a year. If you're in bondage to alcohol, there's a problem. And that's something you need to look at yourself. But uh, we can go through all the basics. It's just plain selfishness. Now, the reason why I hate the ones you love is a really pretty poetic way of saying that you take advantage of the people around you. They're always going to love you. They'll always be there. Everything will always be fine. And people tend to mm -hmm. abuse them. That's why you hurt the ones you love. You assume too much with the people that you're closest to. And to change that, to change that today, Mark, is to is to be in the moment with her. Is to really mm -hmm. participate and be active in your relationship with her starting today. And you know what? No more alcohol. 